Hi, I'm the whore that lives down the street. Could I borrow a cup of condoms? A cup? Are you sure that'll be enough? Look, I know that you don't like me, but I am here to do you a favor anyway. I was out to dinner last night and I saw your husband with another woman. Really? I feel bad saying it, but if I were in your shoes, I would want to know. You're welcome. Oh, I get it. So you feel I judged you, and for revenge, you're trying to make me insecure about my marriage. <laughs> if I wanted revenge, I would have joined them and had a threesome. You know, Carl would never cheat. And the woman he was with? Brandy, his secretary. And he took her out for her birthday. Oh, the old I'm taking my secretary out for her birthday routine. <laughs> nice tip of the hat to the classics. <laughs> okay, well, since you're on this moral roll, why don't we walk over to Helen's and I will introduce you. We can have some tea and then you two could swap stories about Ed's favorite positions. What I do and what Brandy's doing is completely different. How? I'm not looking to break up anyone's marriage. I'm in it for a little fun, some free meals, and to help an unhappy man through his midlife crisis. Wow. You're just a giver. <laughs> Fine. Use all of your energy judging me and ignore the real problem. But let me tell you something. This is my area of expertise, and I saw the look in that woman's eyes. She's not in it for the free meals. She's in it for keeps. You should leave now. You know, Susan, I'm trying to help my neighbor out. I thought it was the moral thing to do. Three weeks later, I found Brandy's bra in Carl's glove compartment, and, well, you know the rest. Say what you want about Edie. She really understood men. I should hope so. After all those years of research. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help thinking about all the times Edie and I sniped at each other. We could have been good friends. Well, if she knew what you're about to do for her, she'd forgive you for everything. <laughs>